And while we're in here, let's go ahead and talk about stencil, fu stencil functionality. And we'll do it for this hard surface object as well as an organic object in a second, the frog we were playing around with. So for stencils with hard surface, and again, you can, we've already talked about Drop 3D and using the 2.5D tools. Um, you have more functionality in here. So if we go in here to alpha, you're gonna see there's a new from IMM option for you. So what that does is basically, we have our object here. Uh, I'm gonna go to BI to brush insert. I'm gonna choose an insert mesh brush. I'm gonna choose this industrial parts here. So I'm gonna select this uh, IMM brush. And with this IMM brush selected, if I go from IMM, it's going to take all of these IMM objects and put them onto a, a flat sheet, all laid out nicely in a grid. And I can use these as a stencil alpha if I want. You're also gonna notice, well, their size. So you can change that to whatever resolution you'd like for any sort of fidelity from your geometry converting to a 2d alpha crank this up or crank this down however you'd like there is also a one item option so if i want to do just say this phillips uh, screw i can go hey one item from imm and now it's just going to take an alpha from that imm brush and put it in here in my alphas now the reason why it's an alpha and why that has what that has to do with stenciling is by the way Here's our alpha menu. If we take our alpha menu, grab that little dot and just drag it over here. It's docked over here to the side. So we have our alpha. We have uh, al new alphas that we've made. We've got the stencil sheet and this. You can also go into alpha import and bring in your own alphas, no problem. But we'll stick with the stencil sheet for now. And way down here underneath the transfer menu, sub menu of the alpha menu, there is a make ST, that's a make stencil. So if you hit that button, that'll go ahead and make a stencil with that selected alpha. And it's really, really big right now. So we're in stencil mode, basically. We can still move our object around underneath the stencil, that's not an issue, but we're gonna use this in conjunction with drop 3D functionality. But first, let's hold down space bar so we get our little widget here. This widget allows us to modify this stencil. So what I'm gonna basically do is hold down the space bar, go to move, and I'm gonna move this down here. And then I hold down space bar and we're gonna go to scale, and I'm just going to click and drag the scale. So here's move, here's scale. Uh, rotate, if you grab the big one, it's actually going to kind of rotate it in a, a weird axis. If you do Z and S, it's probably more what you're looking for, is like rotating it here along this surface. So it's these little letters right here is what you're aiming for when you do rotate. Uh, so again, move, scale, and rotate. So we can move this into place here. Oops, there we go. And again, I can still move my object behind here. Now, because I'm gonna be doing some 2.5D painting, I do wanna look directly down at this flat surface. So one more time, I'm gonna hit W, Alt tap that flat surface, Shift, touch the blue arrow uh, from the gizmo. So I'm looking the camera straight down in here. I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit and then hit Q to go into draw mode. Space bar, because I'm in stencil mode here. I'm gonna move this up. I'm gonna rotate this just a bit. I'm gonna scale it down. And now I can use this to brush through my object. Now, if I just do it now, like with my, you know, switch over to the standard brush and just do that, it's gonna try and sculpt through the stencil or paint through the stencil. That's not really what I'm looking to do. What I'm gonna do is go down here and use this new drop 3D functionality, that 2.5D functionality we talked about in the previous video. So now if I go in here to drop 3D, that's going to drop this object into a temporary height canvas uh, scenario. And then I can switch my brush. So we'll go over to single layer brush. We'll switch it to dot stroke with, uh, I guess, no alpha. And then we can go through here and now we can brush on a single layer. Now it's, it's set to Z sub. Let's go ahead and say Z add. We'll crank that Z intensity up. And we can go through here and we can literally just brush on a single layer from this alpha. If I wanna move the stencil, I can hold down the space bar. We can just move this over and then position these things. And then we can just continue to brush through here. When we're done, we can go out of drop 3D mode. I can, uh, we'll go up here to stencil. I'm gonna turn stencil off. And now again, anywhere we stenciled in drop 3D mode, it went through the object. We can control drag to unmask, or if you undo and you, uh, before you unmask, you can go back in here and remember you can adjust last. You wanna poke these out more or push them in. You have the ability to go through and do that. So you can fine tune it in this mode, control drag, and now you have stencil masks updates to your geometry using drop 3d and stencils and the new grabbing alphas from imm brushes and again if you want to use just this one just grab this one go down here to transfer make stencil that'll put this into the stencil mode you can hit uh, space bar move this around uh, scale it we'll go ahead and scale this down move it into place hop back down into drop 3d mode uh, again, we're in single layer. You I mean you don't have to use this brush, but single layer dot stroke is fine. We can go through and brush through here to grab that information, 
hop out of drop 3D mode, turn off our stencil, use adjust last to fine tune what we want, and then there we go, we've applied that. You can also do this, let's hop back to our frog, let's go to the comma key, project, demo projects, and we'll just double tap, double tap the demo tree frog. And uh, a thick skin is enabled, we don't really need that on. You can use a uh, thick skin with this, we'll go ahead and just turn that off. Uh, and also we'll turn off the floor and turn off perspective while we're working. So like we've talked about before, we can, this geometry is just Dynamesh, there's no subdivision history. So as we're making any drop 3D changes to this geometry, it'll mask this area locally subdivide to get the resolution we need, uh, like we talked about in the previous video. So for example, we can go through here, we can say document, drop 3D, we'll switch this over this time to a directional brush, we'll swap this alpha out with like alpha 60. We can turn the texture off. We can, you know, again, RGB and Z add at the same time. So we can go through here and we can update this on the fly. And then when we're done, we can go out of drop 3D mode. It'll unmask these areas. And again, locally subdivide to get you the poly paint density and geometry density to get the detail that you got while you were doing that. Um, let's go ahead and undo that. And let's make our own tiling alpha. So let's go out of edit mode. Let's hit control N to clear our canvas. And let's just grab a sphere, drag it out on our canvas, go into edit mode. I'm gonna switch our color over here to white. And we're just using the height information. So we have an, a sphere in our screen and we can rotate around it because we've gone into edit mode and we've basically just kind of moving an object around our canvas, just like we always do in ZBrush. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop out of edit mode. And now we just have this dropped to our canvas. You might have a, a message popping up that says, hey, do you wanna always switch? Yeah, just go ahead and click always switch. So now, Again, with that sphere selected, you can keep dragging out the sphere. You can also grab other objects if you want. Any objects you have imported or created, um, you can change it up. We'll, we'll put one ring in here just to kind of show you, you know, that you can switch that out, but we'll go ahead and undo that and we'll switch back over here to our sphere. So again, I'm gonna drag out more spheres, but I'm gonna keep it towards the middle. I don't wanna drag off to the corner because here's the edge of my document. So I'm just gonna keep dragging these out and then I'm gonna hold down the tilde key in the upper left hand of your keyboard and then click and drag in your document with your tilde heat key held down and that'll move your texture over. So now you can go through here and you can make new uh, changes to your document and then tilde key to drag. So we're essentially just creating a really quick tiling uh, texture here. So if we want to grab the height information again, you can go in here to alpha, transfer, grab doc, and that'll grab your document information, your height data basically. And now you can use this as a stencil. So let's hit control N to clear our canvas. Let's go back to our frog here, drag it on our canvas, go into edit mode. And so now we have an alpha here. I'm going to go down here and say make ST, which is make stencil. It's really small because that was the last setting we had. So I'm gonna hold down space bar. We're going to scale this up quite a bit. And because we, we wanna cover quite a bit of our frog, we're gonna rotate this around and we're gonna move it into place on his back. And in fact, let's go in here to stencil and let's change alpha repeat to like six. So again, our tiling repeating alpha will uh, go to our stencil. It'll repeat seamlessly and then we can apply this height to our frog. Uh, one thing we can do as well as go in here to stencil and turn on wrap mode. That is essentially, we go in here to move, as we're moving this, you're gonna see it's going to wrap to the underlying surface of the object. So it's not just gonna do a straight projection, it'll kind of wrap to our object, give us a little bit of a better result. Uh, so once again, we can change this to like say a red color, have Z add turned on, we'll switch this alpha out and we'll choose, oh, first we're gonna drop 3D to drop this to our canvas. With our stencil activated, we can go in here to let's keep it simple. We'll go to single layer brush. The stroke is fine. We have red selected. So as we're brushing on here, it's gonna go ahead and brush on the height data and the MRGB data. I'm gonna go ahead and turn up the MRGB up to hundred. So as we're doing this, it'll go ahead and bump out that skin and turn it red at the same time. And if we wanna move our camera, again, cause we wanna project straight back from our camera view, you can go out of drop 3D mode. You can rotate your object around, go ahead and unmask. Let's go back into drop 3D mode, hold down your space bar, your stencil's still sitting here in your scene. So again, as you move it, let's go ahead and rotate this around. So it's covering the head a little bit more. There we go, we still have wrap mode turned on. We were in drop 3D mode, so now we can just continue brushing this height data and color data. When we're done, go out of drop 3D mode, stencil, turn that off, control drag to unmask. And now you can see we're using our own custom alpha in conjunction with stencils 
in conjunction with Drop3D to go ahead and detail out this object.